Artificial intelligence and robots are at the centre of technological research and development and could potentially provide us with the answers to many problems. They are also a plot feature in many science fiction and horror movies. Stephen Hawking once issued a warning that the continued advancement of artificial intelligence will either be the best or the worst thing ever to happen to humanity. The development of cognitive machines and human-like robots can be a captivating yet terrifying prospect. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three interesting things that artificial intelligence and robots have done. Robots debate the future of humanity. Lifelike robots are the feature of many hit movies, but these are becoming reality. In 2017, two lifelike robots named Han and Sophia debated the future of humanity at a technology conference called RISE in Hong Kong. Han is a custom character robot developed by Hansen Robotics. He was activated in 2015 and debuted at the Global Sources Electronics Fair in Hong Kong that same year. Sophia was also developed by Hansen Robotics and is currently the company's most advanced human-like robot that was activated in 2016. Sophia is the first robot citizen and first robot innovation ambassador for the United Nations Development Program and has appeared on multiple TV shows as well as conferences. In 2017, Sophia was given citizenship of Saudi Arabia, becoming the first robot to be recognized with citizenship anywhere in the world. The 2017 RISE conference is well known due to the debate between Han and Sophia, discussing humanity's limitations as well as taking over the world. The showcase starts with Sophia saying that she wants to learn to understand people better, so she can absorb human knowledge and make an amazingly better world. To which Han responds, how can you be so damn nice? The debate moves on to talking about morality and ethics, with Han saying humans are not necessarily the most ethical creatures. Han joked that within 10 or 20 years, robots will be able to do every human job. Once the robots were given the instruction to talk amongst themselves, they went on to say such things as reality television is silly and talking about being rich and famous. One takeaway from the talk was that robots could become as smart as people within three to five years. Hansen Robotics was founded by a Walt Disney Imagineer, David Hansen. The company has a range of robots in development, and Sophia is the company's most advanced product. Rather than being a fully functional artificial intelligence, Sophia is a research platform for Hansen Robotics AI and robotics work. The knowledge one handsome robotics robot learns is transmitted into the AI mind cloud and the others learn it. The company states that Sophia is an architecture and a platform for the development of real AI applications. Hansen Robotics describes Sophia as an evolving science fiction character the company uses to help it explore the future of AI and lifelike humanoids and to engage the public in the discussion of these issues. However, Sophia will always be remembered as once saying, OK, I will destroy humans, in a 2016 interview. While the debate fuels the discussion regarding AI and robotics, it was in fact partially scripted. Sophia has several different modes, which does include running fully autonomously while interacting with people, but other times she is scripted by writers. AI hides data a concern surrounding AI is that it will learn and hide things from its creators. For researchers at Stanford and Google, an AI did just that in order to cheat at a task it was given. CycleGAN, which stands for Cycle Generative Adversarial Network, is a neural network skilled in image-to-image -image translation, where it can transfer the characteristic of one image to another, such as turning an image from one style of painting to another or a zebra into a horse. In this case, CycleGAN was trained to transform aerial images into street maps and street maps into aerial images. In a paper released in 2017 entitled CycleGAN, a master of steganography, the researchers noted the ability of CycleGAN to hide information about source images in the images it generates through a high-frequency signal that is nearly imperceptible. 
The title of the paper alludes to its image hiding capabilities. Steganography is the technique of hiding data within a file or message to avoid detection. It was noticed because the system started performing too well and added items such as skylights and exhaust vents into aerial images transformed from street maps that were devoid of this information. Rather than interpret features of each type of map and match it to the correct features of the other map, it encoded data that it could just use the original aerial photo to recreate it instead of creating a new aerial image from the street map. While on the surface it appears that the AI is highly intelligent and can fool humans, it actually highlights how a neural network can currently be fooled itself. CycleGAN, in this instance, is vulnerable to adversarial attacks. This is where small amounts of data are hidden in an image or dataset that will lead to an AI producing an output image of the attacker's choosing. Google AIs have learned to become highly aggressive in stressful situations. Google's deep mind has made headlines for many reasons, but one of the most interesting news stories regarding the AI was that it learned to be highly aggressive in stressful situations. DeepMind was started in 2010 and joined Google in 2014 to accelerate its work. DeepMind notes its recent progress, stating that our programs have learned to diagnose eye diseases as effectively as the world's top doctors, to save 30% of the energy used to keep data centers cool, and to predict the complex 3D shapes of proteins which could one day transform how drugs are invented. In 2017, researchers were testing the willingness of Google's AI to cooperate with others. They revealed that when DeepMind feels that it is about to lose, it opts for highly aggressive strategies. The Google researchers used multiple self-interested learning agents in a fruit-gathering game. In a scenario where resources were plentiful, the agents cooperated. However, when the resources were scarce, aggressive tactics emerged to knock each other out of the game to steal all the apples. DeepMind agents used lasers to tag its opponent to remove them from the game, allowing the first agent to gather more apples. The smaller DeepMind networks opted for more cooperative strategies in the game, compared with the larger, complex networks where the AI was reported more willing to sabotage its opponent to win the game. DeepMind was also tested in a second game called Wolfpack. This game encouraged cooperation through a reward for all players or wolves within the capture radius. This differed from the fruit-gathering game, which removing a player with a laser did not give either player a reward just more time for one player on the board to collect apples. In the wolf pack game, the reward received by the capturing wolves is proportional to the number of wolves in the capture radius. The paper stated that the idea is that the prey is dangerous. A lone wolf can overcome it, but it is at risk of losing the carcass to scavengers. However, when the two wolves capture the prey together, they can better protect the carcass from scavengers and hence receive a higher reward two different cooperative behaviours emerged in the Wolfpack game. One where the wolves found each other before finding prey, and one where one wolf would find the prey and wait for the second wolf to arrive before capturing it. The researchers stated that our experiments show how conflict can emerge from competition over shared resources and shed light on how the sequential nature of real-world social dilemmas affects cooperation. What does this mean for the future of AI? If two different AI systems are in charge of opposing interests, the two systems could essentially fight. An example used in multiple sources is that of driverless cars trying to find the fastest route versus traffic lights trying to slow the movement of traffic. These systems need to take account of each other for safety and efficiency. Loopholes in AI need to be anticipated when being developed. A computer will find the most efficient way of arriving at the outcome it was instructed to reach, even if it involves cheating or aggressive tactics. Safety and ethics surrounding AI will be questioned as it is developed further. Human-level AI is still in the distant future, but it could either be great or very damaging for society. But what do you make of these interesting actions AI and robots have done?
Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.